<laughs> Notre Dame on a 45 game home win streak, 20 straight home conference wins, so they could set a new Big East record if they could beat UConn. Charlie Weiss there at the game, watching UConn spreading the field, or in this case, the court. Jerome Dyson knocks down the three ball. UConn got a little crazy with the three. And apologies to Neil Everett. If some is good, more is not always better. Greg Austry misses the three. Dyson, long ball won't fall for him. A.J. Price will try a very quick three, and it rattles away. UConn 4-14 in the first half. Bob Knight has some advice. I would want to attack the zone rather than play on the periphery of the zone. I'd want to flash in the middle, look to get the ball inside, go to the bucket, get it back out. They're not making Notre Dame do anything that involves pressure whatsoever. But it looked like Jim Calhoun was telling his Huskies basically the same thing. Watch Jeff Adrian get a little closer to the rim. 12 points, 19 boards for him. Dyson in transition. Bump, bucket, athletic finish. UConn going to the basket, and they open up a five-point lead. Now back up a minute. The pregame storyline was the two big men. Big East Player of the Year, Luke Heron Gody and Hashim Thabit. In the ESPN the Magazine basketball preview issue, Thabit said, nobody's better than me, only more experienced. I played Luke Heron Gody, and he was not tough. He backed up a little bit on that. And Thabit did have 11 boards and five blocks in this game, but advantage Heron Gody draws the offensive foul on Thabit there, fires up the crowd. Notre Dame down six, but here comes Heron Gody again. He'll take it to the rim on Thabit, blow by in the reverse lay-in. He was 10 of 23 from the field. The only Irish player in double figures, 24 and 15 for the game. His team down just four. Dyson drives, little scoop lay-in will go. He had 15 points. Huskies up by four, over three minutes to go now. Kemba Walker playing insurance man. That'll put it away. And how about UConn? Forget that home win streak. Huskies are now 9-0 on the road. Hold the Irish to under 33% shooting from the field. So Notre Dame's 45-game home win streak goes up in smoke. It was the longest active streak in Division I. It was the Huskies' first win in South Bend since the 02-03 season. Yeah. UConn also finished the Gold Domers' 20-game home win streak against Big East opponents. That streak dated back to 2005. It was tied for the longest in conference history. Also gone. Huskies are now 6-1 against ranked teams this year. Only Georgetown has played as many games against ranked opponents, and by comparison, the Hoyas are just 3-4. and four. You guys are up by two. Coach brings you over for the timeout, tells you to calm down because you were getting in some of your teammates' faces. Then you guys go on a roll. Why were you able to there? What changed? Uh, we just brought it together, you know. Every, everything that happened is just in the moment, you know. We want to win so badly. I want to win so badly, you know. Sometimes I got to get my teammates' faces for us to pick, us up, for, for us to pick it up. And, you know, at the result, you see we picked it up and, you know, we came together and we played five as one. We picked it up tonight with a career high 19 rebounds. How were you able to get that many? Just, just you know, taking care of my body, you know, working out after practice and, you know, just just, just, being, just being a beast. Just going out there and going hard. You're just popping the jersey a little bit out here on Notre Dame's court as you end their 45-game home winning streak. What does that mean to your teammates? It, it's, it means a lot. You know, we came down here last year. We was down 21 at one point we, we came down we cut it down to like four and we just really wanted to come back here and get a win and you know we just we just played so great today you know i'm so proud of the guys you know it was a whole team effort thanks for your time Nikki.